Listen to the entire podcast on Spotify and Google Podcast. Link is provided in the description. The law of attraction states that like energy attracts like energy. Now the law of attraction has become the most famous law where manifesting is concerned. However, the one that comes before that and the one that is more important is the law of vibration. Mm. The law of vibration states that everything rests and nothing moves. Uh, excuse me. The law of attraction states that everything moves and nothing rests. which means that even your own physical body or the computer screen or anything else solid that you can see in this world is vibrating mm-hmm. and when something vibrates it has a particular frequency just like music has a frequency when something vibrates when particles vibrate they have a frequency mm. now the frequency at which you are vibrating is what determines what you attract yeah so it's important to understand that your physical body mm. is actually just space it looks solid but you are vibrating at such a frequency where you appear solid mm. now what determines your vibration what determines your vibration is what you have been thinking and what you have been feeling so at any given moment if you are thinking something uh thinking about something with positive expectation and excitement and you're feeling those feelings as well your point of attraction becomes that mm-hmm. and then you attract everything that you are positively excited about and feeling enthusiastic about mm-hmm. that's what happens now let's say that you are feeling really hopeless about something you're feeling hopeless about the fact that okay i'm not going to be able to play this tournament mm-hmm. then that hopelessness becomes your point of attraction Now the important thing to understand here is that your desire also has a vibration all right because everything is energy and your desire is energy because it's in your thoughts and it's in your heart it's in your mind and it's in your feelings mm. right so you can't see it if a neurosurgeon opens up your brain he's not going to be able to see oh this is her desire this is his desire <laughs> he wants to become the best football player in the world that's not going to happen right mm-hmm. so your desires are also energy and the vibration of your desire is the feeling that you will have when that desire is in your life so the only reason anyone wants anything in life is because they believe they'll be happier joyful um or feel more free in the having of it right mm. so that means that if my desire is going to make me happy joyful free then i need to be vibrating at happy joyful free mm. yeah so that means that your emotion right now has to match the emotion of the desire when you have it mm. a great way of explaining this is a radio station and a transistor yeah a radio station is at a particular frequency we all have our favorite radio stations we know that they are at a particular frequency and then we use the dial on the transistor to tune into that frequency and say acha 101 fm is my frequency mm. yeah now the radio station continues to exist even when you're not tuned into the transistor Mm-hmm. even when you're not tuned into it with the transistor right so what me what makes you listen to that radio station is when you turn the dial mm-hmm. and that dial reaches the frequency of the radio station it forms a connection and then you have that clear signal coming through mm-hmm. same thing with your desires if you are the transistor mm-hmm. and your desire is at a particular frequency how can you tune your dial with the power of your thoughts and the power of your emotions so that that desire can make a connection with you and come into your physical reality mm. so that is law of attraction but the first thing in that is your vibration what are you thinking and how are you feeling right now Mm. you know i perfectly understood this as you mentioned you know like this is a very hyped up law everywhere especially after the pandemic everybody is talking about like oh law of attraction all these things we need to attract and you know make the board and all those kind of things you know it is great but uh, you know at what vibrating level are you even asking that to manifest is very very important right, right. 
So, uh, I'm pretty sure our listeners have understood about the law of attraction. Now that the foundation of this podcast has been made strong, the foundation that's the law of attraction, but most importantly, the law of vibration. Yeah. How can they use this law of vibration plus the law of attraction mm. in attracting, you know, the right coaches, the right academies, or in getting the financial help in general? Right. So, I would say. let the law of attraction be because the attraction will anyways happen mm. focus on your vibration when your vibration is right the attraction will automatically happen mm. so your main job is to make sure that you are vibrating at the frequency of your desire so now let's say that attracting the right coach is something that you desire mm. all right now this right coach already exists for you in this world mm. he is already here Okay so the first thing to note is that if you have a desire it is already done mm. when you go back to the latin roots of the word desire it means of god of the father which means that whatever higher entity you believe in mm. when you have a desire you are connected to god the universe a higher spirit mm. and so that desire is meant to be yours so first just celebrate the fact that yes mm. my coach is here somewhere i get to meet the right coach for me Yeah. Then the second thing is ask yourself how would it make me feel if I had the right coach on my journey? Mm-hmm. How would it make you feel? Maybe it makes you feel supported, it makes you feel guided, it makes you feel secure, it makes you feel motivated. So get clear on the feeling of it. Mm. And once you get clear on the feeling of it, feel those feelings right now. Mm. So whether you use visualization to kind of imagine coaching with the right coach and then feel those feelings or you just spend time doing things that make you feel supported, guided, secure and motivated, you are then matching the vibration of having that coach. Mm. And when you are in that vibration, you will receive all these little little intuitive guidances, these nudges, right? Go do this, go call this person, go train in this place today. Mm-hmm. why don't you uh, pick up the call and you know ask your father's friend who he coached with mm-hmm. you know yeah those little things start coming through synchronicities synchronicities absolutely the signs that come through thank you for that word uh, meghna those synchronicities come in mm-hmm. and then step by step by step by step that path the perfect path unfolds which mm-hmm. leads you to your ideal coach It's important to note that the action part is important in uh, manifesting because a lot of people think oh I just need to think about it and it'll happen. It's uh, when you are in the vibration and the frequency that matches your desire you will be given steps to take. So it's not like I'll take one step and meet that person. It's possible. Mm-hmm. Definitely possible. I'm not canceling that. But you may have to take a few steps and you have mm-hmm. to trust those steps that you're being guided to take knowing Mm. that oh my god yes this is leading to the right coach <laughs> so you can apply this format to any desire 